yesterday afternoon, our tribe uh, had our regular Friday stock talk. And I was all excited because my portfolio is up 77% year to date. And I believe it's going to continue uh, to be up uh, this year at that kind of pace. And uh, I'm going to have a wonderful year. And they basically said, no, um, it's, it's just like NVIDIA. NVIDIA had a one day run, two day run. Uh, and it in fact will will go back down to $300 a share um, from where it's at now at 386. Um, and so I should take my profits and get out and because the market's going to correct. And I said, no, I don't think so. I think that we are separating uh, the market out here and and uh, it is not going to retreat, as they said. And they said it's unsustainable. It's just unsustainable. The overall market has to increase in order for them to sustain that kind of, of, of gains and that they're all overvalued. Well, I think they're dead wrong. And so I did some other work and to, to, to find out, is my 77% sustainable um, through the rest of this year and beyond? And I want to share that with you because, and I'll share the stocks with you that there are 11 of them that make up this portfolio, and I think it will probably um, give me 150% before the year is over. So let's dig into it, and you you answer me. Uh, am I right, or is, is the consensus right that carries wrong? We'll get deeper into it. Best of Us Investors presents Kerry Griegmeier. Basically, I built the portfolio around the premise that artificial intelligence is going to change the world. I believe that much as the Internet changed the world. And there were a group of five, six stocks that carried the load of that and received the benefit uh, of it as well. So here is what I believe is the next year's big tech stocks that are going to take advantage of artificial intelligence and give me uh, the kind of returns that uh, the big six gave me um, the, the, the last 10 years. So here they are. Alphabet, Microsoft, NVIDIA, Amazon, ASML, Tesla, C3AI, Taiwan Semiconductor, Meta Platforms, Micron Technology, and uh, Advanced Micro Devices. What I've done here is I've shown you um, my 70, here it's showing 78%, um, my 78% return year to date, uh, Alphabet 38, my, uh, my Microsoft 34, uh, uh, NVIDIA 163, Amazon 35, uh, ASML 34, uh, Tesla 78, and uh, C3AI 197, 33 for Taiwan Semiconductor, 102 for Meta, 46 for Micron, and Advanced Micro Devices, uh, 98, giving me an average of 78% year to date. Now, they say that's unsustainable. And I say, yes, it is. It is sustainable because look, um, look at what their average return was uh, for, for the year. Granted, it's coming up, but look at it for 10 years. This is 10 years average return of 60% because these are the cutting edge stocks. These are the stocks that are, 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 are growing in, in, the, in the future. They are going to take us into the advent of artificial intelligence, and they are going to give that us that kind of return. And in the one month, they've got 31%. So could I logically say, if it's up 31% uh, in one month, I should expect 360% over the next 12 months? I don't think so. I think NVIDIA got a, a big a surge in that. I think uh, C3AI, 
uh, has pushed that up substantially. And understand C3 AI is probably the stock on that list you're not familiar with. It is not making a profit. So arguably, I would say, in le- I'm watching that closely. If it's a flash in the pan, I'll sell it and take my profits on that. So their their statement, the consensus on our stock talk was that the whole market has to um, has to come along with this in order for it to be sustainable. Well, okay, I, I would say what represents the whole market? I can't use the S and P five hundred because these stocks are in the S and P five hundred. So what I said was the whole market, the rest of the market is representative by the Dow 30, the Dow Jones Industrial Averages. And here is what they have done. In one month, they're up a minus 1.35. Year to date, a minus 0.13%. And one year, they're up 1.4%. And in 10 years, they're up average of 57 so that's the rest of the market. Is it has it pulled down this group over the last 10 years? No. No, it it's up 60. Has it pulled it down? Uh, is is it representative of the last year? No, it we're up my portfolio is up 32, they're up 1.4. No, I say the Dow is 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 yesterday's yesterday's stocks. These are tomorrow's stocks. That's where I want to be invested. I don't care what Procter & Gamble does. I don't care what General Motors does or Ford or whoever else is in the Dow. They are yesterday's news. This is today's news. And I believe I will see uh, at least a one-year return of uh, 70% out of this portfolio. Now, will some of them change? Yes. Yes. Do I need to maybe add some to it? Yes, I will. If I stay attuned and if I stay attuned to, uh, uh, if I convince enough people to think the way I'm thinking and help me on this, that's how I found C3AI. Someone else gave me that. Part of my tribe said, Carrie, you should look at this. I looked at it. I studied it. It's not making money, but it is the company that when I update my website to give you uh, the, the, the benefits of artificial intelligence, that's who will probably build out, build out the software, uh, the, the, the app that will go on to my website so that you can come to it and ask a financial question or ask about a stock and get an answer. Initially, it would be a typed answer. In the future, it will be a verbal answer. It will look like me sitting here talking like this, talking back and forth to you. That's where the future is. That's what these stocks, these 11 stocks represent. That's what I'm focusing on. I do not care if Procter & Gamble comes out with a new laundry detergent. It just doesn't matter to me. Or if General Foods comes out with a new packaging device for, uh, for, for noodles. I don't give a shit. That's not part of my life, okay? This is part of my life, however many years I've got, and that's where I'm going to invest. So now what I want from you is take a look at this chart, do some research on your own, and tell me, tell me if I'm right, if I'm wrong. What I'd invite you to do is come to my next Friday stock talk. Um, go go to the 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 Discord. Uh, you can you you can sign up for the Discord and you'll get an invitation Friday around two o'clock or twelve whatever. And and you'll come to and we'll talk more about this. Now I want to talk more about this tomorrow as well. Um, right now I have to go to a graduation party. And so I'm going to cut this short here, but I'm going to talk more about it tomorrow. I'm going to dig deeper into it and let's get down to the nitty gritty on this. And, and is, is my 31% last month or my 78% year to date sustainable? I think it is. I vote yes. What do you vote? Yes or no? 